In this series of courses, you will learn how to create an appointment, turn the appointment into a calendar or meeting invitation, accept or decline meeting invitations, track meeting attendance, and add reminders to calendar appointments and emails. Now let's start Part 1, Create an Appointment. Appointments are activities that you schedule on your calendar and that do not involve inviting other people. You must first click on the calendar folder or the calendar icon on the shortcut bar. To create a new appointment, you may select the New Appointment from the Home tab or simply double click the date and time on the calendar. The following window will appear. In the subject box, type a description for your appointment. In the location field, enter the location. If the appointment is simply created as a placeholder, you do not need to enter a location. Enter start and end dates and times for the appointment. If you double clicked directly on the start time on your calendar, you won't need to change the start date or time. To change the start and end dates, simply click on the calendar icon next to the start or end date fields. A calendar will open for you to click the specific date. If you need to change the month, simply use the arrows at the top of the calendar. If you create an appointment that conflicts with another appointment already saved on your calendar, Outlook will provide you a message informing you of the conflict. To change the start and end times, simply click on the drop-down next to the appropriate field. When double-clicking the calendar to create a new appointment, Outlook defaults to a 30-minute appointment. To change the duration, use the End Time drop-down and select either the specific End Time or use the durations listed next to the times. If an appointment is to last all day or has no specific times, you may select the All Day Event checkbox. This may be for things such as birthdays. Selecting All Day Event removes the start and end times for the appointment and the appointment will appear at the top of the calendar view for the specific date. If you need to add notes for the appointment, simply type the details into the Notes field. This is similar to the Message field for an email. As a default, appointments with specific start and end times will appear as busy time on your calendar. This helps others when viewing your calendar for meeting invitations. We will discuss this further in the meeting invitation sections. If you don't want the time to appear as busy on your calendar, you may select one of the other options from this list. Working elsewhere informs others that you may be out of the office but still working. Tentative says you have not confirmed a specific time as busy. Out of office informs others that you truly are out of the office and will not be available for work. The reminder time for appointments defaults to 15 minutes prior to the start time. You may change the reminder time by clicking on the drop-down and selecting another duration from the list. If an appointment has a regular occurrence, you may click the Recurrence button to change the recurrence pattern. The Appointment Recurrence dialog window opens with many options. To change the duration or the length of the appointment, click on the Duration drop-down, just as you did when setting up the appointment. Other options available allow recurring appointments to be daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. To the right, the options will change, allowing you to select the specific days and amounts of occurrences based on your selections on the left-hand side. The bottom section provides for the specific range of recurrence. You may select a specific date for the recurring appointment to end, 
or you may select to have the appointment end after a specific number of occurrences or by a specific date. Once you have selected all recurrence options, click the OK button. If you select a long recurrence, be prepared for Outlook to take some time to completely add all occurrences to your calendar. Whether or not you added a recurrence, you will need to save your calendar appointment by clicking the Save and Close button in the upper left corner. Once an appointment has been added to your calendar, you will see it listed on the specific date and time in which you added it. If for any reason you need to change the date and or time, you may simply click and drag the appointment to a different date and time. Or you may double click the appointment to open it up in a separate dialog window and make the changes there. To see more details in the calendar view, simply hover your mouse over the appointment and a window will appear providing you with more details for the specific appointment. Thank you for taking this session of Go Ask Debbie, Outlook, Calendar and Scheduling Part 1. The next video in this series will show you how to turn an appointment into a meeting invitation.